for you know, all the good that he did to me until he turned on me, obviously. Now all of a sudden, you know, because he did all that good, I should just overlook all this. You know, he should be able to do whatever he wants to me because he treated me well for a period of time, I guess. But uh, um, another person I spoke to about was Jake Strickland. And the reason I spoke to Jake Strickland was because he had talked to me about his printer, we actually used his printer at the Jacksonville Soul Wing Marathon. Um, I stayed with him, and uh, when I stayed with him, we used his printer for his business. He owns a business, and he was telling me about, uh, he offered that, you know, to use that. He was telling me about how um, he has a deal with the manufacturer where the, where the cartridges are very cheap to just keep getting them. I was explaining him how much, you know, ink we go through at Faithful Down Church that might, might be worth it. So I called him up and was talking to him about what he had, and I told him I was getting ready to buy the printer and everything, explained the whole situation to him. So there's numerous people that I told, how dumb do you think I have to be if I'm going to try to, you know, pull some reimbursement scam? I'm going around and telling everybody, hey, you'll buy me a printer. It's ridiculous. None of this stuff makes sense. You know, and, that, and you know, that's, you know, why it's important again to be faithful because if you're not faithful, if you're lying about things, you know, people that have the truth can very clearly prove that you're a liar about stuff. So like I said, I told Graham about the printer before I purchased it, and after I purchased it, I spoke to him about it numerous times, and, um, Real quick, this is super, super important. I need to touch on this. I want to let you know the exact dates. And the timing of all of this is extremely important. Very, very important. So on the 14th, you would notice was when that was purchased. If you need to go back, look in the video. On the 14th is when that was purchased. Both of them, back to back. And that's the date of the check as well. So it all makes sense. Once I realized you know, how I was going to do it, I just wrote the reimbursement check for, not for the protection plan. I was going to pay for that just for the printer. It was on the 14th. Well, that was a Wednesday, I believe. Uh, of uh, the week before that all this happened, where I was fired. It was a Wednesday before. My wife was in active labor, you know, at this time. She was in labor, maybe not active labor. She was in, you know, labor. She was going in and out of labor. I ended up writing my, you know, I worked, uh, you know, the rest of the day, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I believe. Saturday, I went in and wrote my sermon for FWBC North. And then I ended up not even going in because... Because of, I think it's because my wife was in labor. I mean, that makes pretty good sense. You know, she went into hard labor starting like Saturday night and stayed in hard labor. My son, Jonathan Asa, was born on the 19th, the exact same day that Pastor Anderson fired me. He was born on the 19th. Now, I don't know if you guys understand the drastic, you know, the seriousness of everything, how dramatic it was when I was fired, how this just took me, you know, completely off guard. I had no clue. It just turned my entire life upside down. I just had a child. I lost my job. I moved out to Phoenix, Arizona.